Hey guys, this is Jay. Today we are going to see how to create neon light effect in Photoshop. Before getting started, please do download the project file, link in the description. With the project file, it will be much easier for you to follow this tutorial. So download the project file and get ready. In case if you want that completely designed .psd file, layer style means hit the like button soon after reaching 100 likes, I'll give you the downloading. Fine, let's get started. First go to the project file, open the PSD file inside Photoshop. This one is a design ready file, size is 4K. I have given you the color palette, the color we are going to use in this design. If you want, you can create your own canvas. Next, we are going to drop in our stock image. For that, go to the project file, open the image inside Photoshop. Drag and drop the image inside our canvas. If you want, you can enable free transform tool control T and resize it. I'm not going to do it here. Fine. Next, we're going to add our text content. For that, go to the text group, create a layer, go to color picker, select white color. You can choose any font you want. I'm going with the font called Lato. It's a free font. I'll give link in the description. I'm going with size 715. I'll place it at the center here. Fine. Next, we're going to add layer mask. We are going to hide few parts of the text content overlapping the antler. For that, go to the color picker, select black color. Now pick brush tool, there select hard round brush. Next, reduce the layer opacity down to 27%. Now select the mask layer. Now we are going to hide the overlapping text parts by brushing black color. Repeat the same for all the overlapping text parts. If you make a mistake like so, no problem. Go to color picker, select white color and unmask the part. Now continue your process. Fine, once you're done, now you can bring the layer opacity to 100%. Next, we're going to add glow effect. For that, go to blending option. Select auto glow. I'll keep the blending mode as normal. Opacity as 100%. Noise as zero. In the color, I'm going with this green color. Of course, you can go with any color you want. Click OK. Next, in elements, I'll keep the technique as softer. Spread as 9% and size as 6. I'm not going to touch other settings. Now click OK. Now we are going to create a duplicate copy by using keyboard shortcut Ctrl J. Now we are not going to touch the new layer we created. Now select the old bottom layer, this one. Now right click blending option. Select auto glow. There I am going to reduce the opacity down to 85%. I will keep the size as 27. I'm not going to touch other settings. Click OK. Now repeat the same process. Create a duplicate copy. Ctrl J. Now select the bottom layer. Go to blending option, outer glow. There I'm going with opacity 65% and size as 95. Yes, I'm not going to touch any other settings. Click OK. Now create a duplicate copy, another one. Now select the bottom layer, right click, blending option, auto glow. I'm going to keep the opacity as 22% and size as 163. Now click OK. In case if you want the settings and numbers means here it is, pause the video and note it down. Next, we're going to add the effects to make it look a little more realistic. For that, go to the effects folder, create a layer. Now, I'll change the layer blending mode to screen. Now, go to color picker, sample and select this green color. Now, pick the brush tool. Now, select soft round brush. I'll keep the flow as 40% here. Now, we're going to add glow effect. I'll disable the color palette. 
Now increase the size, give a single click at the center, like so. Next we are going to add light effect to deer head to make it look realistic. For that create a layer. Now I'll keep the blending mode as color. Now I'm going with the same green color. Big brush tool I'm going with the same soft round brush we used previously. Now I'll increase the flow to 60%. Now give few clicks on deer head. To create such kind of glow effect. There you go. Once you're done, next we're going to add wire cable line for the go to the background group. Create a layer. Now go to color picker, select black color. Now pick line tool, this one. Make sure fill is enabled, stroke is disabled. I'll keep the weight as 15 pixels. Now by holding shift key, create a perfect line shape like so. Now I'll create a duplicate copy, control J. I'll move the layer a little bit down. Now adjust the position using your keyboard arrow keys. Fine, once you're done, next we're going to mask few parts overlapping the antler. We're going to use masking technique for that add masking layer. Now go to color picker, select black color, pick the brush tool, there select hard round brush. Yes, we're going to repeat the same step we did previously for text layer. Now zoom in and mask the parts we don't want. I'll fast forward the process. We are going to repeat the same for the other layer. Create a masking layer with same black color and hard round brush. Mask the parts we don't want. There you go. Now we are almost done as a final step. Let's add a minimal effect to the wire cable. For that select the layer, right click blending option. Select bevel and emboss. We are going with the default settings. In case you want the settings means hit restore to default option here. In the highlight mode, I'm going with screen and 25%. In the shadow mode, I'm going with the 10% opacity. Now click OK. Now copy the layer style. Paste the layer style settings to another wire layer. Like so. Once you're done, our neon effect template is ready. So that's it guys, I hope this video is useful to you. Don't forget to hit the like button for more tutorials, subscribe to my channel and please do check out my other videos. Thanks for watching, take care.